Hi everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video! Yay! Today I will be creating this look. Nice and plummy colors. So if you want to create this look, go ahead and keep on watching. I would really appreciate it. We're going to start with an Allori brush and this is the XL Diffuser which is this big fluffy brush and we're going to get the Unseen Eyeshadow from the Dark Matter Stack from Milk Cosmetics. We're going to put this all over our crease as our transitional shade. So we're just going to apply this all over. Okay, now that we have our transitional shade, I'm going to get the Milk Cosmetics 818 Mescla brush. And I'm going to get the Rust from the Rust stack, which is this color. And we're going to put this in our crease. And then we're going to blend it out. Now with the same color, we're going to put it underneath. So now that we have both of our eyes, I'm going to grab the Mean Streak eyeshadow from the She's and Party Stack, which is this plum purple color. And with the same brush, which is a mezcla from Milk Cosmetics. I'm gonna put this in the crease again. I just like to layer different colors to deepen the crease and just blend everything. Same color, we're going to apply it underneath. Okay, now we're using Skeleton Kiss, which is this nice color. It looks really white, but it has a pink shift to it. And with our finger, we're going to put this like, just dab it. And now we're going to move on with eyeliner. Let me wipe this off. Now for the eyeliner, I'll be using the Kat Von D Stagger Tattoo Liner. So now we're going to get our liner. And um, I usually start with my wing like that. And then... I just drag it in from the corner. Like that. And then just fill in the gaps. Seriously, like not breathing. 
Okay, so now we're gonna put some lashes on and mascara. So for mascara, I'll be using the Falsies from Maybelline. And then put a light coat that way it covers all the fallout shadow from like the shimmers and stuff. So for lashes, I'll be I'm gonna be using the Kiss lashes, these wispies, which is in the style Pompadour, and I really like these because they're fuller and they're like tapered in from the insides too, and it's it kind of has like that 3D effect in a way. I don't know if you could grab it from here, like see it from here, but they're really pretty. You could get them at Walmart. Yeah, Walmart because Target doesn't have them at Walmart and they're like eight bucks or so or five pairs. So it's not that bad. So I'm gonna grab these. So for the lashes, what you would want to do is measure them first before applying them, before putting the glue and stuff. Or at least I do because my eyes are smaller and. I don't like I don't like them to be long because then they're gonna be like poking me and stuff so so I use a dual glue this one and this one has a brush in it so it's easier to apply on the lash so you just apply a thin layer I don't like putting too much because then it kind of like drips down to the lashes and it then it gives it like a weird shine to it or it starts to like to it looks dirty to me so just apply a thin layer and then I'll put a little bit more on the corners on the outer corners that way it'll stay on longer because that's where it, that's where it starts to lift so just apply it like that now I like to use this magnifying mirror and then with my tweezers that way you know where you're placing your lash and then apply it close to your natural lashes to push them down as much as you can to your lower I mean to your lashes because that's gonna make them look more natural and you won't have that weird gap in between your lashes and the falsies okay like that you see lashes make a big difference that the reason why sometimes like I don't go too dark on my shadow until after because this kind of darkens it already so if you want to darken it after a little bit more you can always go back now for lips I'm gonna use the Suavecita and the color Maruha and it's a pretty plum color I think it's plum right? yeah we're gonna apply it on our lips Go ahead and take your time around the edges. So this is my first layer. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. I'm gonna apply a second coat. Okay, 
So this is the final look for today. We're nice and highlighted and plummy. Yay. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll be seeing you guys soon. Or more like you, you guys will see me soon. <laughs> Bye.